Twilight Theater behind the scenes, the making of the Bob and Doug movie. All right, now, uh, move move back and, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, no. Pen. No, 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 stay, hold, stay no, on. No, 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 move over. Dave, come on, move over to us. Pan, pan. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, we'll take out that front part. That's okay. Well, okay. Okay. This is the making of the Bob and Doug film. You can't see the. How wide are you right now? I'm about a way Well, wide, widen out a bit. No, so we you'll can see. see you'll this. see this. I know, but it's the making of the Bob and Doug thing. He should see it. All right. Anytime. Okay. Hello, I'm uh, Rick Moranis. This I'm, is Dave. I'm Dave Thomas. Hi. Um, we're here in Toronto, uh, Canada, uh, and Twilight Theater has asked us to put together something for the show. And I think you should pick up the pace a little. Well, right. I'll try. And we didn't have slow. we didn't have really, really time. We're working on a feature film. We're co-directing for, is for what we MGM, are. and this is where our production offices are. So we thought we'd just uh, kind of talk we about. We should do it again. Now, a car went. Don't by worry here. about it. It's real life. Cars go by. You know, I I don't know about this. All right. Well, cut. <laughs> okay, guys, now you realize we have 50 days to shoot this picture in. Besides the mechanical operation, we have opticals, electronics, and a whole stack of physical things. And as you're aware, as we move through our schedule on our board back up through here, the white strips are studio and location, interiors. The yellow ones are day. There's blue strips. There's green strips, which are video, and you know we're going through that video problem now. We've got a major event here. We've got the 30-frame, 24-frame situation, and all that has to be synchronous. So you must understand where we're at. We can't blow that at all. We need your direction. We need your help. So we're going to have to go through that very carefully. What, what do you mean you've changed your minds? Fellas, you've signed contracts. You've signed contracts with MGM. They're a big company. They're very powerful. You've agreed that you're going to direct this film. You've agreed that you're going to write this film. You've agreed that you're going to star in this film. You've taken all the responsibility. You put it in writing to these people. They've hired accountants. They've sent down money. They've hired people. They've spent a lot of money on this. You can't do this. You're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> And then, and then I made a note that Bob says, no way, and Doug says, uh, take off your knob. So, and then the scene is I, ended. I, I don't think my character would say that. I don't think, no. What are you talking about? What do you mean, Doug wouldn't say, take off your knob? He says it three times. He says it, no. he say, says it right after that on scene 151 at the beginning. What scene is that? It's the... Where's your script? Uh, I left it at home. <laughs> yeah, well, they do it in France, and I think shooting from 12 to 8 is a really good idea. Never, they'll never go over it here. Well, they got to go for it. Yeah, it's not worth it. What are you going to do, start at uh, noon? What happens if you go over time? So they get to sleep Listen in? Listen to me. We're the directors. We can make this kind of decision. No, you're never going to get away with something like that. Well, I'm making the decision, or at least half of it anyway, so we'll shoot from well, like 10 until 4. Thanks, Robert, consulting me. <laughs> well, I mean, to be, to be honest with you, Dave, Dave Thomas is a Gentile, and... I had always expected a certain technical knowledge as a result of that. Unfortunately, he doesn't have it, and all of the creative as well as the technical problems are having to be solved by me. And th this is taking me away from other projects which I'm working on without Dave. And yeah. Oh, thanks. Hi. Well, I, I had a great time. <laughs> Look, if you want me to be honest with you, I, I'm. I'm already bored with this project, you know, i got to stick in here. I, I, I'm developing another project of my own secretly and, and from Rick. And uh, it's, it's kind of a space thing. And I, my heart is there. It's not here, but i got to stay here. I, I have to be involved in the technical side because it, it wouldn't work without me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hello. Where were you last night? I, I waited for about an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were with Rick, weren't you? Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, giving up my half of the direction. I, it's it's just too much. And well, I can't do it all by myself. Look, uh, I have to be honest with you. I've, I've got a couple of other commitments, and it's going to be real difficult for me to do both directing and acting. Well, I've I got to be honest with you. I'm in exactly the same position. Well, what are we going to do? Well, I think we should... We should... <sighs> How are we going to get out of this? <laughs> Stay with us and 
we reach out and touch Barry Manilow and the always funny Fidel Castro.